Welcome back to another day in 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. Day 27, we're there. We're getting so close. We're going to be talking today about speaking the truth in love. So this is something that we want our kids to have a grasp on in relation to others. Because obviously we want them to know truth and to stand firmly on truth and not to back down from it and not to compromise it. But on the other hand, we want it to be tempered with love always. And we've touched on this in many, you know, there's so much overlap in these different prayers for our children. So we've touched on this before, but let's really focus on it today. Because as we've talked about before in our interactions with people, as they become increasingly virtual, and increasingly less or decreasingly personal, it's so easy to speak the truth without love and to just lay it out there and to do it either in a way that's flippant or careless or even just mean. And we just want our kids to represent the love of Jesus because as we all know, I mean, that's, that is what it's all about. Love God love others, and the rest of the law and the prophets can be summed up in that. So we want them to speak the truth in love. This topic for me is kind of hard. I got to this day and I read through it and I thought, wow, this is, the, it, it, I was convicted and I am convicted that I do not do this well with my children. I have a short fuse and I'm easily, um, like I, I, with my kids, I snap at them quickly when I'm busy, which is all the time. <laughs> and I just feel like every day I get to the end of the day and I think I should have spoken more lovingly to them. And it's a bad habit. And it's a habit that I have seen also reflected in the way they speak to each other and other people. And so as pretty much all of these prayers do, this one starts with us, that we would speak the truth in love, that we would speak to them with love and respect. And it's just amazing how that trickle down happens when we begin to check ourselves and to pour out love and respect, how it trickles down to our children and their interactions with each other and with other kids. Um, or if your kids are adults, it's the same thing. It's never too late. And this is a good time to remind you, no matter how old the people are that you're praying for, the children, um, it's never too late. Us coming together and doing this, praying, it's for a reason. You were called to this 30 days of prayer for a, a reason. And if you have made it to day 27, you're committed. I will tell you that because I don't know the statistic, but statistically speaking, people that take part in challenges or get devotionals or retreats or courses or whatever they are, most people, I would dare to say, don't even begin. Um, or maybe many people don't begin, but most don't finish. So if you're at day 27, God bless you. God is calling you and has called you and is working in your children right now. And it is never too late. So let's pray that our kids would speak the truth in love. And as Ephesians 4.15 says, instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. Father, we confess, I confess that I have fallen short in speaking the truth in love to my children, to my husband, and even to others, although not nearly as often to others as to my own family. Forgive me. God, we confess any parts of our lives that don't reflect this quality, and we turn from the bad habits from the heart condition from which the bad habits spring. And we pray that we could move forward, acting in love. We all love our kids, but we don't always act that way. And, and we just pray that you would, you would help us to tap into that love for them and that love for you 
and that it would overflow into the words that we speak out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Father, take out anything in our hearts that is rotten or decaying or contrary to you and replace it with your truth and your goodness and the fruit of your spirit so that we can overflow with speaking the truth in love, giving life-giving words to those around us. And even though sometimes speaking the truth in love can be hard, it might not always be, uh, it may not always result in peace. That we could speak to our children, that we could rebuke our children in a way that leads to life, even if it's not pleasant. That they would learn from that that when they come across things that are untrue or false teachings or contrary to who you are or what you've said, that they can meet that without backing away from truth, without compromising truth, without sinking into half-truths or falsehoods that sound truthful, <laughs> but that they would stand firm on that truth, but be able to counter it, even if it's not pleasant, with an attitude of love and to maintain that. And only you can give them that ability, God, and that wisdom beyond their years and beyond their human ability. God, we lift our kids up to you. We pray that they would be truth seekers, truth lovers, and that they would be able to express that in a way that never turns in any way from the love that you have planted in them. The things that are impossible for man are possible with you, God. And we just claim that for them and pray that over them in the powerful name of Jesus. We pray that they would love the truth, that they would jealously guard it, that they would hate the deception of the enemy that has permeated so much of our world. God, we pray that the love that they show and the truth that they stand on coupled together would be the magnet that draws people to you, that makes them recognize truth and love it, love the feeling it gives them to walk in it, that they would have the wisdom to be able to keep pursuing people even after offense, if there is an offense that comes from sharing the truth and love, God, that they would pursue them anyway and just maintain open arms and open doors. God, we pray that the Christ in our children would shine more brightly than the sun and would expose darkness in all of the corners that it reaches, making it into light. Thank you, God. Thank you for your truth. And thank you for your promise to continue to work in our children until the day of Christ Jesus. Lord, that the work that you have begun will continue to be worked out, will continue to be worked on until the end. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.